process of creation for me was always uh, very interesting and uh, because of that I'm also like very interested in, in this metaverse project uh, because it gives us freedom to, to create something exceptional, something unique, uh, something that nobody uh, ever did before us. We started uh, Space Shuttle Design uh, as we start uh, every other uh, design project. So we started from gathering references from pop culture, uh, from movies, uh, but also from real world. For us, uh, it was very important to be not against the science. So that's why our uh, world building team consists of uh, scientists, engineers. We start in an actual location, which we picked in the United Arab Emirates of the future, in Hatta, which is a picturesque landscape in the mountains and lakes. That's where we placed our spaceport. And we think about the whole experience as something that is, you know, almost like a travel from the United Kingdom to the, to the United States on the ships back in the 19th century. So you have people that go in top classes and mid classes uh, because you are a settler on Mars. We get there in quite sophisticated crafts. We had a lot of questions doing that. I mean, how many people will go from Earth? Should we go directly to Mars or maybe we should land on, on for example, Moon and go uh, to Mars from Moon? Maybe we should use a uh, cycler. We have chosen uh, the, the, the way that is most interesting, that will be most interesting for the user and will be most interesting uh, story-wise. And from Hatta, where we start, we have a launch pad for four rockets. So that's about uh, 1,600 passengers at a time. And what is very important is that the mission to Mars needs to happen at a very specific time window because the trajectory of Earth and Mars need to align so the distance is the shortest possible. Because in the worst case scenario, you could have Earth and Mars of the opposite sides of, of the Sun and the trajectory would be uh, huge. You'll be chasing Mars forever. So for it to, ha to, to take no more than three months, which is 121 days, you need to find a very specific time frame. So that's why all the spaceships take off more or less at the same time. Four take off from, from this main spaceport in Hatta. And then we think that Everdome has about nine to 10 other spaceports elsewhere in the world. They all fly, fly up to the lower Earth orbit, uh, which takes about seven to eight minutes. And then they join uh, our true spaceship, uh, long distance spaceship, which is the Everdome Cycler, which is a three kilometer long uh, spaceship where the, our vehicles from Earth dock, they join, the passengers leave those spaceships, and they generally have three months of leisure, education, um, some activities to prepare them to their arrival uh, to Mars. The Cycler is a fantastic concept, a gargantuan ship with a nuclear fusion engine at the end and a huge solar sail uh, at the very uh, front of it. After about 120 days, the passengers arrive to Mars on board of the Cycler and the Cycler deploys the passenger crafts they land in the reserve crater, whereas the cycler takes, as the name says, you know, a cycle around Mars and travels back either to Earth or any other celestial body that is on its route. Uh, and when we think about the world of the Ever of Everdome, we actually think that the inner solar system has these crafts that are flying around. And this is our interstellar transportation system.